Avid Studio has some unique ways that can work with photos that make editing easy and allow you to create documentary style looks. I'm going to touch and drag a photo to my storyboard. I notice there are black bars on each side. I can change the properties by double tapping the photo in the preview window or on the storyboard. There are three options to choose from. The first one keeps the original photo. The second one zooms in to remove the black bars. And the last one will scale the photo to fit the whole screen. I'm going to select the second one and my photo fits nicely in my preview window. Now I want to bring this photo to life using pan and zoom. I just touch the button at the top right corner of the preview window and I can start animating this photo. This is my start position. I now select my end position. I can use my two fingers to zoom into the photo and then use one finger to change the position of the photo. Now I touch the start position button and hit play. I just created a unique move that allows me to bring my still photo to life like in a documentary. I'm going to bring another photo to my storyboard. I can change the four second default duration of the photo by dragging the handle located at the bottom. If I decide to replace the photo with a different one, I touch another photo and drag it over the original and I get three options. Replace and use new length from the new photo, replace it and keep the length from the old photo, or create a picture in picture. I'm going to keep the length of the photo on the timeline. This is a great way to keep the timing of your movie. As you can see, Avid Studio has a lot of unique photo features like pan and zoom, which allow you to have full creative control over your finished movie.